Thank you for joining with me for the meditation for the lesson of the day in the workbook for students of A Course in Miracles. Go ahead and sit comfortably. Close your eyes. Let's start with a big inhalation. Hold it at the top and then exhale very slowly. Feel all the tension leave your body. With each inhale, bring in spirit and light and love. And with each exhale, go ahead and envision any fear, worry, tension. Just see it all melt away. Lesson 282. I will not be afraid of love today. If I could realize but this today, salvation would be reached for all the world. This is the decision not to be insane and to accept myself as God himself, my Father and my Source, created me. This the determination not to be asleep in dreams of death while truth remains forever living in the joy of love. And this, the choice to recognize the self whom God created as the son he loves and who remains, my one identity. Father, your name is love and so is mine. Such is the truth. And can the truth be changed by merely giving it another name? The name of fear is simply a mistake. Let me not be afraid of truth today. As we move into a silent meditation, go ahead and use this lesson or the mantra of your choice to help release all other thoughts as they pop up. I will not be afraid of love today. I will not be afraid of love today.
I will not be afraid of love today. Let us recall the fear of redemption, which teaches that our real fear is not the crucifixion, but of redemption. And that's in chapter 13, section 3. Our fear is not what the world will do to hurt us, but the fact that there is no world. No kidding, I couldn't absorb that for quite some time. This means there is no me, but only God in Christ. God and Christ, in whom no individual identity can exist. No wonder, then, we are afraid of love. Choosing love is choosing against our little self. The importance of this theme cannot be overemphasized, and it appears again and again, sometimes explicit as in the case here, other times implicit, yet it runs through almost every page. If I could realize I am afraid of love and this fear is a choice, the world would be saved. This lesson, therefore, is also about choice. All pain comes from choosing to push away the love of Jesus, and behind him is the perfect unity of God's love I push away as well. The fear of God's love is a decision we have made not to be as he created us. A Course in Miracles helps us understand that such an insane choice preserves our identity threatened by love, and that's identity with a small I. Recall this line from chapter 13, section 3, paragraph 4, sentence 1. You have built your whole insane belief system because you think you would be helpless in God's presence, and you would save yourself from his love because you think it would crush you into nothingness. We believe what the ego told us, namely, by changing truth and calling it illusion, illusion, excuse me, changing love and calling it fear, we have actually changed reality. We then name the specific objects that reflect this fear, the names of everything in the universe. Because we perceive and name them, we believe they are real and have thus taken the place of truth. However, the reality reflected in the atonement principle is that this is simply a mistake. For nothing in heaven has changed. The way out of fear, therefore, is to accept the truth of the atonement. This is from the text, chapter 2, 1, 4, 4. The escape from fear is brought about by your acceptance of the atonement, which enables you to realize that your errors never really occurred. Let me not be afraid of truth today. This presupposes that we are afraid of truth. This lesson, then, will be meaningless in theory and practice without first becoming aware of our fear of love and truth. Only then can asking Jesus for help be meaningful. Dear Jesus, please, please let us commune with you in love and light and truth and release all of our fears. Let us be aligned and accept atonement which enables us to realize that nothing else is real but love and truth. Let us live united in our oneness with you today. And so it is. Amen. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day.